It seems quiet in the Minot State University dome, but there are a lot more activities going on behind the scenes. Athletics facility director Tim Healy has been working the tournament for many years and knows the best way to get prepared. It's going to be a three-day three -day project. It's a lot of extra things to do. We've got booths, vendor booths to set up and a lot of extra little things we got to do. I love tournaments. They're a lot better than the, than the, just the daily work. Food is a big part of the tournament atmosphere. MNS employee Carla Tennyson has spent the past 14 years feeding fans. It's stressful at times, trying to make sure we got everything in all the stands, the food, the candy, everything, and make sure we get enough workers. She continues to work the tournament because it brings her back to the days when she was cheering on her hometown team. It just brings back memories from when I was in high school and when my girls team went to the state. To while the Dome will be packed with fans, many more will rely on TV to cheer on their teams. Typically we can come in on, at 8 o'clock and, and hopefully get most of it done by the end of the workday. WDAY's crew works together to keep the games rolling till the clock times out. Growing up when I was younger, we used to always watch these. You know, I'd sit on the floor and watch these as a kid and now be a part of them. It is kind of cool for sure, but um, you know, we, we take a lot of pride in what we do here and I think we put out a pretty good product. Trimming makes it worth it. It's about two because you're it's a built for basketball. You're right there and the action. You know, there's not a bad seat in the house really. So you're you you feel I think the fans feel they're into the game. They're part of the game. And come Saturday night, people working to prepare the dome hope the fans will head home remembering what a great time they had, win or lose. Alexis Arthur, KX News.